What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Max Set from AGS. Now yesterday we went out risking 140 mil and got hit by two teams. So if you do want to go check that video out, there's a link to it in the description. Today we're just going to be welfare PKing. I think our cash deck's about 15 mil. We didn't sell everything that we got yesterday, so we'll do a PK session today. And then we'll sell the loot from today and yesterday and see how much money we can make in total. And hopefully we can get an uh, upgrade from there. Anyway, we're just going to go well for PK, see how it goes. If you do enjoy the video, hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. I see a solid robes warrior. Chuck up the smite. He's literally in solid. He doesn't even have a helm, bro. He's just solid top to bottom. Lettuce, man. Oh, is his friend going to play the hero? He might do. A 113 high? Hi. Am I in vid? I mean, you're not dead yet, so... Not yet, as of this moment, you're not in the video, but if you do die, then potentially. Let's put a bolt on. He's going to run to Rev Caves, I think. Let's catch a freeze. There we go. Is he going to change his prayers? Oh, that guy played the hero. Interesting. All right. I, which one? Which one's uh, more going to stay on me? I guess I can go on this one right now. I could technically go on either one of them right now. Go for a bolt on this guy. Okay, let's just AGS him out. Dead. All right, now let's go for this one. Right, 189k in the looney bag. What is this guy doing? EHP is gross. Oh my god, there's another one right there. Maybe I attacked the wrong one. He's going for an AGS, put on the protect item. Does he not have food? I think he died at KBD or something. All I know is there was another one with him. I don't know what he was doing though. Pliz? Uh, I don't think so, bro. I do not think I'm going to be letting... Oh, shit. I need to catch this refreeze. Don't hit the Black Knight, hit him. Nice. Nice. That's a refreeze. The Black Knight's aggroed on him, so I just have to keep bolting him. I just have to keep bolting him. That Black Knight might cause an issue, though. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze the Black Knight. I'm going to kill it. Then I'm going to get back on this guy. Let's go for an AGS here. Oh my god, that's a big one. That's a 72. Is he going to play melee? Nope. Going for the whip now? Why is he saying please, dude? What is so important that he has on him? This guy might be risking something. He smited. Come on. Oh, he just got his prayers back up. Maybe he didn't put protect item on, though. Berserker ring. I just got a V-ring. I just got a V-ring off this guy. Maybe I should... I don't know if I should have attacked the other guy, but I just PK'd a V-ring in 85k. I don't know if I smited that or he was risking it. Three mil off this dude. Good fight. All right, I got to fight with this guy. Spare me. I think. Or is he just going to run away? Is he going to attack me? What's happening here? Come on flat? Okay, I'm coming on the flat. Alright, he's pulling out the mage. Are we going? I'm lost. Oh, he's done the double fakie. Good luck. Let's catch a freeze if we can. Take off the shoes. Nice. Okay, we've got that first freeze. So we have... Okay, I was about to say we somehow have an advantage. But he just bolts me a 36, which is slightly depressing. So we already have to brew down to get that HP back up. Alright, nice. That's actually a decent freeze. And then I just misclicked on that little Venezuelan man. Catch a freeze there. Nice. I really want to pot up. I want to get in some early damage. I think I'm just going to do that right now. Go to target who probably won't come up. But if he does, I just got to be a little bit careful. Catch that freeze. Let's go for an AGS right there. Death. Oh, I whacked him. The whacking disease. I hit a 31, so I don't think he got the prayer on. Let's pray melee. I don't think I'm going to spec there either because... Uh... Oh, fuck. This isn't good. Pray melee. He just got a defire. Dude, I really need to start anti-firing, huh? He actually just AGS g mauled me on pray melee. It's interesting, to say the least. Like, I had it up for a good couple seconds. Uh, catch a freeze, if I can, nice. Should have in. Okay, this target is in level 40, so I don't want to skip that if I can. Okay, I skipped him. I was scared he would PJ me. I was just pray mage here. I used to, I wasted a lot of food skipping that target. Pray mage. Okay. There's the AGS whack. Fuck, let's just go for an AGS. Dead? Dead? 65 for the KO. He thought he had all the little he had all the momentum on me, but I knew he was on pretty low HP, so I thought I'd just pop out that AGS and we did manage to get the kill. He had a warrior ring. Let's pick this all up and get in the looting bag. Good fight, man. I was getting work there as I tried to skip my target, but I knew he was pretty KOable HP. Alright, some guy did try PJing me, but we did get out with him in the majority of the loot. Almost a mill, probably a mill in like runes and bolts and stuff. Good fight to that guy. Hi. Hello there. Catch a freeze. 
There we go, nice. Put a bolt in. There we go. Is he just gonna smite me? Okay, he took off the smite. He's still star bashing me. This is very weird. Come on, chuck up that smite. He's got a cow's leather uh, skirt. That's such, like, shit defense. Is he not gonna pray melee? He's dead. Ha! 72 for the EGS. Good fight. I don't know why he didn't pray melee. Let's get that all on the looting bag. He had a DDS. Cow's leather skirt. This is probably gonna be some good loot. Good fight, man. Well, I don't know if it was more of a fight. It's kind of just, like, three hitting you. All right. 1.2 mil in the looting bag. He had a Sears ring as well. Good fight, dude. So I went up to 44s on it. This guy attacked me in a Carol's other top, Torag's legs, Dragon Crossbow, Staff are dead, and his spec weapon were claws. So he was risking the Dragon Crossbow and that Toxic Staff, plus everything else. So he was risking, I think, close to between like 28 to like 34 mil, I think it was. I was risking my Toxic Staff as well. So I was risking like 15 to 20 mil, but obviously he was risking more than me. He had that Dragon, dragon Crossbow and that Tank Gear. And obviously I wasn't going to turn down to that fight. It was in World 18, and we kept sessioning each other. I think we did about six or seven fights until one of us finally got a kill on each other. So at this point in the fight, we had done around like six or seven fights, and he actually lost his skull. Uh, I asked him if he'd give it if he died. I sort of trusted him because we've been fighting for about, I don't know, 30 to 45 minutes. We were both risking quite a bit. I just, I just trusted him to do it. Apparently he watched the vids as well because he asked if I was live. So I just trusted him, and we continued on fighting. Here you can see I go in for the AGS G Mall, but I only hit an 18 AGS and at zero G Mall he gets the Prey Melee on. We had a lot of better chances earlier, you know, with that 75 AGS into the zero G Mall. And then I think we hit like a 62 13 or something like that as well. Both of those could have killed him, but this one was kind of shitty. But we continued fighting. There you can see he tried pulling out his claws. So at this point I have six doses of brew left. He could fight back and probably kill me, but it seems that he's on the lower hand and he starts running right away. So basically I have to kill him before he gets to that ladder. He said he'd give it to me, so I wonder if he really will. Either way, good fight if he doesn't. Good fight. That's like a 25 mil kill if he does give it to me, but I don't know if he will. Uh, what was his name? D's Nuts, I think it was? Oh, he's trading me. Yo, re respect, dude. Oh, 28 mil. Good fight, dude. DBU on Twitch, by the way. I guess he was streaming. Good fight, man. He actually gave it up. Respect. Alright, so he did say he'd give it to me if he died on Skull. So that's a 30 mil PK. Holy shit. We'd seshed about, I don't know, four or five fights. He lost his Skull. He did die. We were both out of food completely. Got him with his barrages at the end. 30 mil PK. Good fight, dude. Let's just attack this med level. I doubt he's going to fight back. So we can just try and kill him really quickly. He might fight back, though. Nah, I think he's just in his tank here. Let's go for a whip. Dude, fuck it. Let's just go for the AGS. Oh, that could have killed him so easily. But we did, in fact, hit a zero. He just laughs at me. He knows he should be dead, man. He's a med level. He's probably got 70 defense. The poor man. He probably doesn't risk a lot, but because we have a looting bag, if we do kill him when he has, like, all his supplies, he's going to try and freeze DD on me. Gotta be careful. Catch a freeze? Another zero. I'm just going to vault him, because it doesn't look like he's running just yet. Come on, catch this freeze. There we go. It's going for a whip. Another zero. It's going for a bolt here. He's getting his prayers pretty well. It's going for another whip there. Another zero on the. I mean, an eight on the robes. Not really getting the best hits right here. Okay, there's a nine. Whip. 
Nice. Okay. It's all coming together now. He's probably going to be bringing down. I think he's just trying to try and spec me out, to be honest. So I do got to be careful of that. And Ajija just pulls out a claw Gmall right now. And that's the, that's the story of Ditterbitter. It's all over from there on out. He's bolting me pretty big, to be fair. Is he dead here, though? Oh, he prayed melee, and I didn't even spec him. Took out the shoes. Dead? I hit a 5 spec, bro. This guy is one lucky motherfucker. Hundred and eighty K off this unscald guy going to die. Put a Bolton. Come on. Give me some good hits here. Another zero. Going for a big whip on the ropes. I hit a six. Big bolt on the ropes, I hit a five. Spec him. I hit a zero. Okay, yep, it's definitely RNG. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's RNG right now. Grimage? A one. That is gonna be my professional evaluation from the scientist. Noodle AGS, even this looter knows it, dude. Reason? Nice. Bolt. Nice. You can try setting up another spec in the same super combat. It's gonna be risky though, because we're on 53 HP. And he could AGS me out. But it might be worth it. But probably not. AGS him? Dead? 57, that could have killed him. Go for the bolt for the KO. How did he eat up so quick? Let's just pray melee there so he doesn't spec us out. He should have died there as well, man. He eats really fucking quick. I don't know how. Nice. Okay, the freezes are going in right now. I'm just a little bit careful because I've, I've seen this guy's name around, so I don't know if it's a bait or not. I just want to stay a little bit north. Obviously, if they do catch a full freeze on me and get a TB, I'll die either way. But I feel like just being north is just, you know, a little bit safer. Let's catch a freeze here. I almost have another spec as well. The RNG has not been cutting it out this fight though, and I just wasted my last super combat by misclicking it instead of a brew. So that's mad awkward. He's running south again. I don't know why he'd be running south if he said he's gonna DM me. It's very suspicious. Going for another whip hit. Gotta make the most of the super combat. Nice. I feel like he's gonna try and chuck an AGS at me soon. Okay, I have another spec here. Going for a big bolt, and we're gonna hit a zero off prayer on ropes. It's whatever though, nothing. Nothing we haven't seen before. Is he unfrozen there? He's not. Catch a freeze. We have another spec. I might just use Anglerfish if I have to. Pray melee. Trade specs. Trade spec. Dead. What are with my specs today? Jesus. Oh, I'm gonna die. I thought he was gonna about to spec me, dude. My specs are fucking trash today. Catch a freeze. Good fight. Oh, I think he's actually gonna DM me. Now the question is, was it just a bait? Good fight, dude. Let's see, I should pray mage and just pick this up and try and get out of here quickly. Quick price check. 590k, good fight, man. So I asked this guy up at 44s to fight and he's like, uh, no. And I asked why and he just, he's like, why are you so salty that no one wants to fight you? So I tried flaming him into, like, I tried flame baiting him into fighting me. So I said, like, go two tick some wood cutting because I think that's what, like, skillers do or something. And then he hits me with the go lose a max set again. So obviously, you know, I got I to teach him a lesson. I attack people unscald all the time anyway. So I just started attacking him. We had a couple of spec opportunities to kill him, but the RNG just wasn't there. As we got closer to the gate, got another spec in, 30 barrage into the 46 AGS it was. Hit him with a little moron, you know, and just take his loot really quickly. Right, so that guy was flaming me. I asked him why he didn't want to fight, and he's like, why do you get so salty? Go die for another max set. So we had to kill him really quickly, drop the moron, 200k loot. Good fight, man. Alright, don't ask me why I have an antivenom and a Serp Helm. I forgot to take my Serp Helm off. Good luck to this guy. This is gonna be super awkward. I'm gonna have to do like double takeoffs and shit. It's gonna be very weird. Is he just blood blitzed me off the start? Right. Alright, we're back on our fight. It got really interrupted by this guy's target, but we're back on it. Catch a freeze there. Nice. I don't know why I said nice. It literally didn't catch. Is he really going in for that? Like, I saw him pull it out, so I thought maybe he's gonna fake it. So I didn't bother changing my prayers. Dead, maybe? Ah, uh, it's only a 26. Prime LA gun. He's gonna go in for it. Dead. Dead. 73. We just Bodhi numbered him again. Bodhi, he even types the Bodhi as he dies. Good fight, man. Let's get this all in the lunar bag. GG to you, dude. Mystic shoes, stuff of water. It's not gonna be that much, but let's just see how much it is. Alright, kill that guy. He drops a good fight. 520k loot. Good fight, man. So, after losing that hybrid deathmatch to Skiller the other day, I wanted to get my revenge and make some money back off of him. So I asked him if he wanted to do a tribrid deathmatch. And we're actually going to up the risk this time. Instead of just using a toxic staff, 
We're also bringing the Abyssal Whip, which is about 3 mil right now. So in total, I think it was like a 17.5 mil risk. Now, obviously, we'd already PK'd 30 mil today, so, you know, we could we can afford to take this kind of risk. And I think the, the rewards outweigh the risk. So if I did die, I wouldn't care that much because, you know, I'm not really down in the day. But if I did win, it'd be very nice and it could go towards buying some more upgrades. So with two brews and one angler fish left we matched to get the kill. Um, we got off to a really good start, which is one of the main reasons we won that fight, I think. We had all the momentum right from the beginning and he was sipping those brews. If I didn't get that RNG at the start, it might have gone a different way and I could have potentially lost. But luckily we did do alright with the RNG at the start, got our hits off prayer, stuff like that. I managed to take a lead really early on. We have made up for our losses against Skiddler the second or the last episode. And we've got ourselves a Toxic Stuff, a Normal Whip, Series Ring, D Shoes, the lot. How much is this worth? About 17.2 mil, not bad at all, good fight. By the way, we're really friends, the only, way, the only reason I said TY is because the last time I died to him, he just said TY, it's a good fight. Now every time we do these sessions, it's never just one fight. If I die, I'll ask for another uh, fight. If he dies, he'll ask for another one. So we did another one, he bought his uh, gear back, uh, and we were doing like another 17 mil risk. I can't believe I got him. Good fight, dude. Hopefully he gives me the stuff, because he was on Scald. Alright, he gave us the money, thank you. Alright guys, we're just chilling in our max set, and in our inventory we have everything we've PK'd in yesterday and today's episode, and today's episode was pretty good. Uh, that 44 mil cash stack, 28 mil of it comes from that guy who in the Dragon Crossbow and Toxic Stuff who died on Skull, but was respectful and still gave me the money. And the other 16 mil is from Skiddler when we did that second Toxic Stuff uh, deathmatch. And he was also on Skull, but obviously, you know, he's a streamer. He's not going to scam me for a Toxic Stuff, so he gave it to me. Then we have the Toxic Stuff from the wrist fight we won. We have the two whips, because obviously I bought one whip myself and the whip that I won from him. We got that B-ring from that KB Deer, and then a bunch of other Mystics. All of this stuff. Let's just, let's just put it in our price checker and see how much we made in the past two days. 75 mil obviously a lot of that is from today i think we made 60 mil today if not more but we made some yesterday as well and 75 mil in the space of two days those risk fights and that guy in the big risk at uh kbd really paid off if we check our bank we still have a little bit of cash in there i think it's around a seven mil cash stack right now 
There it is. We have to buy supplies and shit. We bought we bought a spirit shield to go well for PK. Bunch of other stuff. We got a uh, bunch of dragon boots and stuff as well. I'm gonna sell everything and see where we're at. All right, so an 80 mil to 82 mil cash stack from uh, what we have so far. We still have more stuff to sell, like the dark book from that bait, uh, some of these dragon shoes, stuff like that. So we're gonna sell all that and see where we're at. All right, and our final cash stack is just under 86 mil. Jesus. Now, there are a few options in terms of upgrades. I could sell this shield. I could sell my armadillo chest plate, and I could sell my uh, dragon fire shield, and I could buy an arcane, which is the best in slot mage th book, or I can start buying ancestral pieces because I'm pretty sure I can afford an ancestral row bottom. Okay, no, I can't. I lied. I can afford an ancestral hat. I, you guys, tell me what you want to do. I think the arcane is the smartest choice, and that may be what I'm doing. But if there's any other upgrades you guys thought of, like maybe getting bandos for extra strength bonus, I'm not really sure. It's probably going to go with the arcane, but just let me know what you think. Anyway, that's it for this episode of Max Setup from AGS. A whole lot of progress and a whole lot of money made. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys later.